got plenty of bait, perfect conditions, and here we go. So, just another thing that's gone wrong. We're just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way today. Get it in, get it in, get it in. It's like a race before the dolphin get here. Big grouper, babe. Look at that big grouper. Oh my gosh, I can't keep it. Yeah. Ah! Look at that big old grouper. back to the real 850 I'm Jay that's Elizabeth and we're coming at you guys from a new destination today we are in uh, Mexico Beach Florida probably about an hour um, east of Panama City Beach mm -hmm. we took the revel last night down to El Governor RV Resort got everything set up put the boat in the water here at the uh, marina this it's actually the Mexico Beach Welcome Center they have a, uh, a marina right here where you can store your boat um, on the water yeah. and uh, rent those slips either Daily, nightly, 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 weekly, weekly or, or monthly. monthly. Yeah. Uh, really, really nice service there. So uh, we dumped the boat in the water yesterday at the Mexico Beach uh, boat ramp there, the public boat ramp, and um, put the put the boat in, stored it overnight, and put the pinfish trap out last night right here at the boat. We got some pinfish. And we are heading out. This is our first time actually going out of Mexico Beach. So we're really excited. Uh, you guys have seen our videos. We actually like to fish down here. A lot of these artificial reefs that are right offshore here. And uh, man, I tell you what, they have some absolutely beautiful facilities here. And if you guys didn't know, um, this place was destroyed about six years ago by Hurricane Michael. Yes. And devastated. Devastated. I mean, this place, <laughs> everything out. that you're looking at right here was yeah. completely yeah. destroyed. All the homes were gone. It was it was devastating. Yeah. So they have done a fantastic yeah. job like rebuilding this, like, this area. There's a really nice, uh, looks like a community bathroom. Yeah, I think right that's here. just an observation place right there. Yeah, but and you can go probably to the, oh, look, go to the beach. Yeah, you can go to the beach right out here. So, um, yeah, well, I mean, we are, check this out. I mean, right here is the beach. Yep, there's bathrooms. And Pass bathrooms. right here, heading out into the Gulf. And they're still doing some construction around here, but um, they've done a great job. They have done a fantastic job here. So we're really excited to uh, to take you guys out with us today. Um, see what we can catch. Um, probably going to get into some red snapper. It's still in season right now. It's the middle of October, mm -hmm. and I mean we've got beautiful weather for fishing today. It's supposed to be one. It's one foot or less. So. Seas are one foot or less. We've got light winds, probably five miles from the north northeast, which is ideal for the panhandle. And we've got bait, which you guys know what that means. Sometimes if we've got bait, it means fish are not biting, but we will see. So we are um, we're gonna head out here. Um, we've got about a 20, 22 mile run to some of the reefs that we like to fish. And um, this looked a little shallow right here. I think we're okay though. Yeah, we're good. Um, I've seen some big boats go out, so. Yeah, yeah, there's some big old boats that come out through here. It looks like a sandbar. So. Yeah, it's a we sandbar. don't know this area. Yeah, we, we don't know this little we channel right here. right here. So we gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, I see it, it gets Look, shallow right, right here. Nice. Yeah, there's the beach right here, Mexico Beach. For those of you that have not seen this area. These are all new houses right there. Every single one of those. Yes, new. was gone. Yeah. I think there was one house left standing. So. Yep. And then looking back this way towards Panama City Beach. So we're going to do our best to get some fish on the boat. And we'll see you guys here just a little bit.
quick update for you guys. We're out about, uh, say about 15 miles or so, and on the way out we noticed that the transducer wasn't reading any yeah. depth. So, just another thing that's gone wrong um, with this Garmin. What did I say a couple weeks ago? Yeah, we have, we have a, we got plenty of, we got plenty of bay, perfect conditions, and here we go. We got something wrong. So we can't see any depth. We're not going to be able to see any of the structure on the, on any of the reefs that we're going to go over. So we're just going to have to do this the old fashioned way today. Yeah. You know, it wasn't that long ago where people couldn't see the bottom with all the fancy electronics. So we're just going to have to go to our GPS spot, um, maybe chum it up a little bit and drop some stuff down and see if we can't catch them. But on the way out, we're going to troll and um, we're going to troll over these reefs. There's there's about seven or eight reef balls right here that we're going to try first. Kind of troll through them and around them, see if we can't pick something up. And then we're going to just, like I said, do it the old fashioned way. Um, I was on the phone with Garmin a minute ago. It sounds like there's probably a, a transducer temperature sensor that's gone bad. So there's nothing that I can do today to get this fixed. So, we're just gonna hang in there. Beautiful weather. We're gonna try to catch something. We got everything but the fancy electronics. So if there's no fish, we just move to the next spot. Yeah, if there's no fish, we'll just keep on going. Yeah. You know, sometimes you stay on a spot because you can see the fish on yeah. the So, you know? I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot, guys. Yeah, we'll see. Get it up before that dolphin gets you. Let's try it. Right, got it. Oh, the dolphin got it. I knew it. Oh, well, we're not bringing a dolphin. That or a shark, got it? Well, it's probably that dolphin because I don't see him. Man. Yeah, you hit something good, that too. That was a good fish, too, yeah. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, quick, but that dolphin gets here. Oh, oh, oh. Did he get you? Did he get you, dolphin? Gosh. Maybe it was a grouper that was just stuck. Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in. It's like a race before the dolphin get here. Oh, get it, get it, no, 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 no. Oh, he got it. Dolphin got it. Well, you know what it was? It swam down into the oh, man, brick. I thought I had it. I you almost let it... had it up. Look, it was right there. Oh. Shoot. Dolphin got you. All right, we're going to try for round, is this round four? The dolphins swim huh? away, I think. I think this is round four. We're over this site. We don't have any visual on the uh, on the bottom at all. We're just on, on the GPS numbers. Yeah. And we've lost four fish already. So we know there are fish here. Four, three, three. Three fish. And I don't know if it was shark or if it was dolphin that got us. I think it was dolphin because there's like five dolphins. Right yeah. There. But that last one, I let it go and... Um, just kind of let the slack out. It let go. I got it almost to the boat and it came up and got it. Yeah. You were trying to outreel the shark. I was trying to outreel it. I just the couldn't do it. Nibble. We're quick. Yeah. making any headway at all on it. No? There you go. There you go. There you go. Get that joker up here. Nothing? Kneeling. Stop, buddy. What does that feel like? That big? He's not moving. No. You did this once before. <laughs> you got a big jack. What did you have on there? A piece of a... I don't think a jack hit that. That's got to be a grouper or a big snapper. You got him out of the rock. Yeah. Probably not even that big. Oh, that's the way that thing was pulling it sure looked like it. 
Alright, I see something. Probably a big red snapper. Grouper. Nope, the big grouper Ooh. bag. Look at that bag. Oh my gosh, I can't keep it. Oh. Not. It's an absolutely big snapper. Yeah, they don't usually run like Feel that. Shaky. Yeah, you're probably, I think you're right. I think it's Jack. Jack. You're gaining on Yeah, it looks like back. a jack. Looks like a jack. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, that's a jack. Oh, <gasps> What's underneath it? Another jack? Oh yeah, it's a big jack. All right. I think those are other. Uh, you don't think those are jack as well? Yeah. You know they like to follow each other. It's a big jack. They're so strong. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good boy. You got it. I had one last live bait left, so I dropped it down and hooked up almost immediately. This turned out to be a really nice mangrove snapper. We were just locking in on the GPS numbers and positioning the boat within 10 feet of the coordinates and blindly dropping either live penfish or cut bonita. Does it feel good? Another grouper we can't keep? Uh, that might be a mangrove? Yeah, big mangrove. Oh, nice. We can keep that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Nice mangrove. Nice mangrove. Nice mangrove. All right. Okay. Stop. That is a good mangrove right there. Yep. Elizabeth brought one in as well, mangrove and then I hooked snapper. into our only the red snapper of the day. We consider this another great day in spite of not having any sonar or depth visibility. Yeah. They're halfway down, babe. right here this is a really nice area um, so I've got we've got a few fish to clean we've got a really nice mangrove snapper you guys saw um, earlier uh, we're actually going to give this and these two fish right here to our camping neighbor back at the campground they're from Minnesota and they really don't have a lot of fresh fish and we told them um, this morning if we went out and caught some fish we'd flay them up for them and give them over to them so that's what we're gonna do we don't need any fish we have a ton of fish in the freezer that's really the only reason that we kept these is to give these over to uh, our camping neighbors. So I'm gonna clean these up and we'll see you guys back at the campground.
After getting the fish and boat cleaned up new. and secured, we made our way back to Elk Governor RV Resort to check out the pool and beach access. It's located directly across the street from the RV campground. These facilities are brand new and just recently reopened after a long rebuilding process from Hurricane Michael. Later, we took a sunset bike ride down to the Forgotten Coast Brewing Company for some local craft beer and dinner. This brewery also just recently opened and we highly recommend checking them out. The staff are all extremely friendly and the food was very good. You can purchase their local craft brew and a crowler to go if you choose. This is definitely one of my favorite local beer. We wrapped up the evening back at camp and with temperatures in the low 60s with very low humidity, we really enjoyed relaxing by the fire. After a quick breakfast the next morning, we made the hour trip back to Panama City Beach. This was a great RV resort with very friendly staff, extremely clean facilities, and great access to everything you need. So we have made it back here to home here at River Camps, and we had an absolutely fantastic weekend there in Mexico Beach. We couldn't have asked for better weather. It was Oh, well, no, it was pretty good. No, Perfect. the weather was excellent. I mean, it could have been a little bit cooler. It's but... middle October here in the Florida Panhandle. We had highs in the mid 80s, lows around 55, 58 in the mornings, and really not a whole lot of humidity. But um, yeah, it was excellent camping weather. So you see in the background, we've got our van here back at the house. Um, we're getting ready to clean it up. Mm -hmm. We took the boat. I drove the boat down to Mexico Beach. She drove the van and it was absolutely just a perfect weekend. That was kind of the first time that we've tried that, mm -hmm. taking the boat uh, with us camping. And, you know, I'm, I was really impressed with the facilities in Mexico Beach there, not only at the campground, but also mm -hmm. at the visitor center where, where I was able to keep my boat. And the boat ramp. That's actually yeah, the a boat really ramp. large boat ramp Yeah. with two slips. Um, you could I actually think there's three slips. Yeah, maybe. There's three slips. You can, there's water, you have to pay for it, but you can rinse your trailer off. Yep. Um, you can rinse your boat down, your trailer off, everything when you pull it out of the water. Plenty of parking. We were able to leave his, tr uh, actually the trailer there because yep. we kept the boat in the water. Yep. Um, so there's not a lot of places that we found like that. Like no, that, really... that's a unique, that's a unique facility yeah. there. Um, and it's actually, I think it's fairly new. I don't know how old it is. You guys that are familiar with the area, maybe comment <clears throat> down below about um how old that is but uh, i would imagine it's been rebuilt since michael. <clears throat> hurricane michael yeah. yeah they also have a fish cleaning station there yes i was noticing when i was walking back from the trailer there's a really nice uh covered fish cleaning station mm -hmm. so um definitely do that one again um again i was super impressed with the town of mexico beach yeah, that's was... really the first time that we spent a lot of time there yeah it was very convenient we took our bikes and so the yep. first night we were there we rode our bikes down to Forgotten Coast Brewing Company. Brewing Company, um, and had dinner there. Um, you know, it's kind of like bar. excellent too. It was the good, way. Uh, but they've got bowls and pizza and yeah. wings and sandwiches, and um, so that was cool. And then there's other just little restaurants and yeah, not a whole lot of restaurants in Mexico Beach yet. I think they are are coming. You know, there's they're still couple. rebuilding mm -hmm. there, um, but there's some food trucks that Several look food really trucks, good. Yep. Um, but the, but the campground, El Governor campground that we stayed was really, really nice. Yeah, um, and you and probably saw earlier in the video, uh, across the street from the campground is a really nice pool that they've just rebuilt because of yeah. Hurricane Michael. Um, they also have like a little bar there. So that was really nice. It's yeah. right on the beach. You can literally see the beach from your chair of the pool. So Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. So, mm -hmm. so we enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys did too. We're going to do a lot more of this. Um, like I said in our last video, if you haven't watched that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be staying a month down in Crystal River, Florida at mm -hmm. Sweet Citrus Acres. We're going to be taking the boat with us. Yep. But that's later on. That's in January, yep. February. Hopefully we'll make several more videos between now and then. But um, thank you guys for following along, and we will see you guys next time here on The Real 850.